Hey, hola, my friends. My name's Charles Collins, and welcome to Together We Grow Sustainable Hydroponic Aquaponics Gardens. Now, um, it's approximately 100.6 degrees today, Fahrenheit, in the Sonoran Desert, which is pretty hot, which makes it almost impossible to grow anything, especially outdoors. If you guys are in the southwestern United States, please stay hydrated. Be careful if you're going to be out here gardening. These are the dog days of summer. Your plants have seen better days. There's no need for you to overdo it. If you are going to be outside, make sure it's in short intervals. Make sure that you have plenty of cool, refreshing drink right next to you. It's not worth losing yourself over. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I've spent a few years gardening, well, actually a little less than 10 years gardening in our beautiful Sonoran Desert. So I have learned some tricks, but I also learned that the easiest way is to just not garden outside. And I know that hurts a lot of us because a lot of us are like, well, we don't have room to do it inside. Well, at Together We Grow, that's what we focus on. We focus on making those solutions for you. For you guys that have been so awesome that you've been following along with me for a few years now and seeing us as we develop our solutions, our sustainable gardening solutions, thank you so much. And if you haven't already done so, please hit subscribe, hit follow. That little bell will go off. It'll let you know when we make new, new, new movies, new videos, new content, because there, there's going to be a lot more stuff coming up. Um, guys, I've been working on some incredible projects, and I can't really tell you about those because they are private projects. They are private projects. But now that I'm finished with those, I can actually come back and I can hang with you guys again. And I don't know about you, but personally, I love you, and I miss you guys so much. But let's get back to talking about some sustainable gardening, right? It is awful hot out here. <laughs> Take a look down there. This is a, rare, a very, very rare view. This is actually all of our winter gardens. So you guys remember the Brooklyn Bridge? There's the Brooklyn Bridge tunnel system right there. And for our independent um, um, Unity Nirvana um, grow systems, grow tunnel systems, those are the ones right there. Those are the ones that we had on the separate fences. And if you guys get a chance, please feel free. Go through those older videos, take a look at them, and you'll see how much fun we had developing these tunnel systems. And I love these systems because they're convenient, they're easy to put together, but these are nothing like the original ones that I first invented um, three or four years ago. These work nothing like them. I can't wait till we get inside so I can show you guys all of the improvements that we've made out there. I stress again, it is 111.6 degrees Fahrenheit at this very moment while I'm talking to you. So if you do live in a Sonoran Desert, please stay hydrated. So just a reminder, um, there's one, two, three, four. And the longer fence partition system that you see right there pointing directly to Buddha, that was the one that our Brooklyn Bridge system was connected to. And our Brooklyn Bridge, I believe it was a 21 plant port system. So we said we we're going to get the most out of the most out of the least amount of space. So it has a 21 port plant system here and on the individual fences there, this one there, the brown one and the wrought iron one, those were all seven port systems. So that's 21, it's basically seven times, two, 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 it's 21, seven times, three, four, five, 35. 35, yes, 35, I think, yes, 35 plants all um, together, something like that. Let's see, 20, no, I'm sorry, 42 plants all together. Yeah, you just saw me do some stupid math in my head. 42 plants all together. And that was using minimum space and it was using four reservoirs. And I said, I know we can do better than that more efficient now mind you guys there's absolutely nothing wrong with this system right here i love how these systems work and they were there were small individual hello the ghost of summer's afternoon <laughs> how you doing dorsey <laughs> but um they were all four individual reservoirs because we were growing four different types of, well not four different types of plants but plants in four different stages and that worked fine but once again that's 42 plants and that's hardly any floor space taken up whatsoever because all of our space is linear now, even though, like I said, it's over 111 degrees Fahrenheit at this very moment, our tomatoes aren't still producing. You know, you guys know they get to a certain temperature and they'll stop. But we are about to, um, we are about to enter a phase in our weather systems called monsoon season. That should be kicking in in about a week or two. So that's why I still have my tomato plants going. Because you guys may not be able to see it, but this is, see right here? This is actually, oh, let me tip that up. There you go. This is actually a sucker right here. So I'm going to be removing this. And when monsoon kicks in, I'm actually going to use that to start off an entirely new tomato plant. And it's the same thing. There's another sucker. Can you guys see that? Yep, there's another one right here. I'm going to be utilizing that. So these plants are still going to be producing. 
nowhere near as they would have done um, all season. Because remember, I believe we put these out here, um, oh my goodness, March? Something like that, something like March. So we've been eating tomatoes since March, February or March. Yeah, March, pardon me, March. But the tomatoes, these, the main vines are on their last run. They've been producing for the longest. Guys, please go through the videos, go through the pictures, go through our community chat, and you'll see all of the incredible um, food products that we've been producing um, just using, if not all, but some of the produce that we're growing in our very own garden, in our very own gardens. And that's the other thing. It's one thing to garden just for experience and to have fun, and there's nothing wrong with that. But the time that we spend together as a family developing these products, and we will be offering our products for sale in our Etsy store as well as locally. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of tour circuits on um, summer food festivals this summer, so we'll be offering them there as well. And I hope to see you guys there. But gardens are amazing because gardens keep on giving. Hey, so hold on, my friends. So like I said, it's a little hot outside. So I actually wanted to bring you inside, and this is the first time I'm actually showing this on the video. Remember the tunnel systems that we've been developing for the last two or three years? Well, this is the latest iteration or iteration of it, version of it. And this is my hazel ray system. This is named after a very dear friends of my daughter, who's just an amazing, amazing child. And she's, she's literally the path for the future, and I can already tell that. Hug your kids, love your kids. Kids are absolutely amazing. Um, we made so many just breakthroughs and advancements with this system. And this is one of the solutions that we developed because, like I said, it's too hot outside. I don't want you guys to get sick. Um, yeah, you could get something like an arrow garden, and I have nothing against those. Those are great. Those are very, very tiny, and you're limited as to what you can grow in them. You can grow full-size um, produce in here. You're not going to get like an apple tree or a lemon tree, so don't do anything like that. But tomatoes, peppers, all of those are in here. Not even dwarf kinds because these poles can actually raise up at the lights, so the lights can always be above whatever produce it is that you're growing. Let's start from the bottom up on our hazel ray tunnel system. Can't forget our trademark Together We Grow vinyl stickers. Those will be for sale on our Etsy store as well if you guys want to represent the team. And I'm actually testing out some basil that we started from seed. Everything that we do is from seed. And except for the two purple ones, which are the opal ones, which are the same kind, I believe this one is Tulsi. Um, this is Broadleaf Italian. That's lemon and that's lime and another broadleaf Italian down here because we know what we like to use in our pestles and we know that we love the, um, the, the, the overall uniqueness of different flavors and different um, textures and different applications of different types of basil. So yeah, you don't have to just grow just one, you can grow many and what better way to do it than in our new tunnel system. From the floor post all the way up to the light stand um, and including the light bar, they're all hollowed out to make these as light as possible, as easy to move around as possible. Like I said, um, a six-year-old could assemble these systems, but anyone of any age, with, um, you know, if, if, with, with minimum help, you can move these around. And these are set up to sit on the side of a counter, um, up against the wall. We just have this sitting up against the wall in my developmental um, space in our house. And it, it, it just works. All of our sustainable gardening systems do use um, smart outlets so everything can be managed from your phone. This is one of the, I think, one of the more ingenious things that we did is on all of our systems that I designed, from the floor stands and the light stands, they're all hollowed out so that we can eliminate as much excess weight as possible. Therefore, people from 60 years old, from 8 to 80, can just pick these systems up and move them around wherever they want to move them to. And as I said, we wanted to make this as easy as possible for you to enjoy all of the pleasures of gardening without hurting yourself and without getting burnt up in that torrential, horrendous sun outside. Um, I believe it's on 77 or 74 degrees in this office space that I'm in right now. The plants are doing okay. I'm doing okay. The dogs are walking around this house someplace. Everything is happy. I don't want you guys to get sick. And like I said, at Together We Grow, we want to make solutions. We want to make it so that you can enjoy all of the pleasures of gardening without getting sick and without ending up in a hospital. Our individual um, Hazel Ray HR23 systems are approximately three feet long. They hardly take up any floor space. The most amount of floor space that you're going to take up is the actual reservoir right here. And there's some unique features about our reservoir as well. But first, let me explain to you how this system actually works. Let's remove our reservoir top. Inside of this reservoir, there's a 8-watt pump. 
Nate Watt Pump takes the nutrient solution. If you guys get a chance, watch the last video I made. You can see how we apply our master blend nutrient solution. It's basically the same thing in this reservoir. But there's a pump that takes that nutrient solution and it runs it up through a hidden line in this support pipe right here. Now let's move our once one basal plant out the way. See that? That brown stuff you see in there is actually it's not dirt, that's nutrient solution, but you can also see how beautiful our roots to this basil plant are. And these have been in this system for two weeks now. Two weeks now, I believe. And I believe I started these seeds four weeks ago, something like that. So these are fairly new, but they grow extremely fast and extremely large in our system's designs. And the most I can tell you is there's some magic that's going on from this pump going up this line. There's some magic going on in this too. But when the magic occurs, the nutrient solution runs back through this line right here, goes all the way down the length of the tunnel above, the plant tunnel system, and returns right back to the reservoir. And it's nice and clean and neat, like that. I have to fill this reservoir, so far I've only had to replenish this reservoir once. So in two weeks this is drank approximately three out of five gallons of water. Not too bad Basil, not too bad at all. Another little known factor about our um, gardens and about our growing systems is we always have something growing in reserve. Especially because like I told you guys yesterday, please watch the video from yesterday. I look at my entire growing experience as living on a spaceship. It's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, it has a lot of isolation, I'll tell you that in the first place. But I feel like I'm never really alone. I do have my wonderful family. I have my doggies and I have all of these amazing plants. Now this is tray three, tray five, and tray four back there. And this is what's growing respectively in those trays. So the idea is when those other plants get too mature, or get too big, or I just want to move them out and turn over to new plants, I'll always have something ready and something different to take its place. <clears throat> also, you see, we do switch up the varieties of plants because whoo, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Oh, I forgot, this is actually extra basil that I have back there. And these, see how small these guys are? The same exact age, age as the ones that you saw in the tunnel outside. But these guys are still in their little cute spots. Where they were first born, isn't that so cute? I leave this as a cilantro right there. And this is a, let me get out a rub. Oh my goodness, that's a lime. Yes, that's a lime. What's this guy back here? That's a lemon. Oh my gosh, if you guys are in the Tucson area, this is a lime, this is a lemon. If you've never had one, please contact me. Hit me up with the inbox. I'll easily put these guys in a red solo cup with some dirt of this traditional gardening. If you guys are interested in getting yourself a tunnel system, get one. Hey, we can fill up all seven of your ports with these plants right here. Let's make it happen. So my amazing friends, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this time that we spent in my little, my, what I want to call it, um, my inventive space. I absolutely love it in here. I hope you guys enjoyed going on some amazing trip with developing all of these cool sustainable gardening solutions. Um, as my um, dad always said, ain't no gain, ain't no profit in hustling backwards. So we always try to push that envelope. We always try to move it forward. I just noticed something guys. This is a like no effects on this camera or anything. Look at how vibrant and rich the colors are on these plants. Holy cow. Look at that. And I repeat, the only thing I give these guys is Master Blend. <clears throat> Pardon me, those getting a little froggy. It's Master Blend and that's it. And I just let the system take care of itself. I mean, guys, and especially, and I told you guys yesterday, and I repeat this, please go through the community chat. It's all about art to me now. And that looks like a piece of art. It, it does, that looks like a piece of art. It's just beautiful to me. It's beautiful and it's, I feel this is beautiful in its design, it's beautiful in its purpose and it's, it's just beautiful. And it's what happens when you have a little dream and you bring that thing to life. Get that pen, get that paper, get the writing down notes. So okay, my amazing friends, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Inside. I hope you enjoyed the in-depth talk and the descriptions of our gardening solutions. I made a video yesterday. I made another one today. Um, let's see if we can keep them going. If you guys have any questions, um, also, yeah, if you do have questions, you can hit me up. Look at my little cap. My hair is wanting to do its own thing. Um, I am going through... <clears throat> I am trying to answer them in good time, but I am trying to take my time with the answers. I don't want to rush through anything. I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. Thank you so much for taking the time to just enjoy this journey with me. And don't forget, 
plant that first seed and together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends.